god, this fucking wig though. Okay, cool. Hello, what the fuck is an e-girl? Am I an e-girl? When you Google it, you get all of these types of pictures. I don't fucking know, but <gasps> we're gonna try to do the makeup, which I've actually tried to do this makeup before, and I don't know that I have the right face for it. I feel like with a lot of these looks that pop up, you guys hear the rain? It was sunny like 20 minutes ago, but I feel like with a lot of these looks that pop up and get really popular, only a certain face shape can really pull it off. So we're gonna see how this goes. I tried looking up a reference picture that I kind of wanted to go for and Bonnie Gary Nana popped up. If you don't follow her TikTok, she has a ton of like e-girl tutorials. I don't know if she has one for this picture, but she's also on YouTube now. So definitely go follow her and she will actually show you a good tutorial. This is mostly just gonna be watching me fail at this makeup look probably for the millionth time. But now I'm gonna fail on here in front of all of you. Yay! Dude, I need to clip this. I can't, I can't. Okay, so I've actually been using a different primer. It's still Fenty, but I've been using the soft silk instead of the soft matte because I ran out of it. And then I started using this one and I actually really like this. My skin has been really dry and annoying lately. And this has been an improvement. It's also like pretty, it kind of looks like melted fake skin. Also, my skin is breaking out so bad because I got really lazy and wasn't taking my dim and I'm about to get my periods. This is what happens when I don't take it. There's like so many painful breakouts all over the bottom half of my face. If you don't know what dim is, it's this supplement that helps to regulate your hormones. I found out about it because I was trying to find an alternative to birth control for like hormonal acne because treatments that you can get over the counter often won't even touch hormonal acne. Like most of the time out of the month my skin is perfectly clear i need to wipe this off but every month about a week before my period without fail i start getting these like deep cystic zits that you can't pop nothing you really do to them is gonna make them go away they kind of just have to go away on their own i usually pop them anyways <laughs> once they've like kind of surfaced a bit more which is not good i'm gonna use my color pop foundation But yeah, so I started taking that. I get it off Amazon. I'll link it in the description if you want to look at it. And my acne got, like improved so much, but I've just been so lazy lately with taking pills, but it really doesn't make a difference. You just have to take it like every single day. I also started using the Drunk Elephant TLC serum because I had one from when I worked at Sephora. I got one for free. So I, tr I started using it like a couple weeks ago and oh my God, like whatever acne I did have left over was like gone. It was so good. So I think I stopped taking the dim cause I was like, you know what? Maybe this is all I need. And like exfoliating every day does help me a lot, but unfortunately nothing really touches the hormonal acne other than something that affects my hormones. But the dim is really cool. It doesn't have the side effects of birth control, like weight gain. A lot of people experience like mood changes. Everyone you talk to will have a different experience, but I personally have never wanted to take it just because I'm so sensitive to everything. Like I'm super sensitive to medication. People always ask why I don't just put the wig on when I'm done with my makeup. It's cause I'm filming and I want to look cute. Isn't this so cute? Concealer time. I look like an egg. There's just no helping that. <laughs> My face was feeling kind of oily the other day. So I was like, maybe I should experiment with setting powder again. So I tried it. No, oh, the moisture was just gone. Okay, so with the e-girlies, the e-gals, they all kind of have thinner brows, which is like the look that I have been going for anyways lately. This is gonna be the same way I do my brows all the fucking time. So if you've already seen me do this a million times, feel free to skip. I always put timestamps in the description so you can like skip to certain parts of the video you wanna see. So we do our little outline and then we fill that bitch in. So might 
this look better with like blonde pomade since I'm wearing like a white wig? Maybe, but I don't want to look for it. A lot of these e-girl looks involve a lot of pink. So I'm going to use my favorite palette for pink, which is the Sugar Pill Fun Size. Level Up is such a good shade. It looks really bright, but it actually, on me at least, it looks very pastel. So we are going to put this in our outer crease area. Maybe I lied, maybe it is like really bright. Maybe I'm thinking of a different color. Still pretty though. Now I'm going to take a white shade. Mine's out of the Norvina Volume 1 palette, but you can use whatever white shade you want. And we're going to put that in our inner corner. When I don't have my nails, which I don't have my nails right now, it is really nice because you can just use your pinky and stick that right in there. Just like that. It's like the perfect amount. And then I'm going to do just a little bit on my lid. I'm using my ring finger for this. just like on my inner lid and blending out. Cute. The eyeliner is an important component of a girlitude, so it seems. I did a video a couple weeks ago. It was like my updated everyday gothic routine. And I talked about a lot of tips in that video for making liquid liner a little easier because I know it's like really difficult when you first start doing it. So go watch that if you want some tips and tricks on how to make liquid liner a little less terrifying. I don't decide if I want to do anything up here because I've been doing a lot of liner up there recently. I think I'll do like a little small thing. Lately, I have been using a different eyeliner to do this part. Yeah, I've been using the Wet n Wild because it's just a little easier with the brush tip. Okay, this is the part of doing e-girl makeup where I feel like I always kind of fuck it up. So I'm gonna take that same shade and instead of bringing it all the way to my lower lash line, I'm gonna kind of bring it down a little bit, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that looks any different, but I feel like they always do that. It's to make your eyes look bigger, like more dolly eyed. I'm gonna do my inner corner liner. I'm also using the one wild for this one. Okay, waterline liner. I just fucked my inner corner liner up, but I fucked it up evenly. Okay, this next part looks really cool. I have never actually done this before. So I'm gonna take a white concealer, this is the Urban Decay, and this like slanted brush, which I'm going to clean, and we're gonna draw some lines. So the first one's gonna be out here. I don't know about that. We'll have to wait till the end to find out if I like that. And then we're gonna do it on the inside. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this yet. So I'm gonna put my lashes on now because normally if I'm like really not feeling my eye makeup, all it needs is lashes. I don't know what lip color to do because I feel like they always have like the cutest like pink lips and pink just looks so bad on my mouth for some reason. Like I can do pink eyeshadow, but like, I don't know. So maybe we're just gonna like try on a bunch until we figure it out. I put 
this one on too early. I don't know. Is it cute? What do we think? Okay, last part of our eyes is the fake lashes. So again, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild liner and just draw some fake lashes. Every time I do this, it looks terrible. So I don't know if this is gonna look good. So we're gonna do blush. Blush is very important. I don't have any like light pink blush. I don't own any. So we're gonna use this one from Bare Beauty. This is shade Grace. This is like the closest to pink that I own. I usually put my blush like up here, but I'm gonna try and do it more in like the center of my face because it's also gonna go on our nose. That like disappeared. I can see it in the mirror more than I can on here. And as you can see, I like, I'm bringing the blush up here a little bit. Okay, I think it's cuter with the, oh my God, what is up with the fucking clots of blush coming out? Cute. I still don't know about the eyes. I don't know what issue I'm having. There's just something wrong. Okay, so I added my little swoop thing that I've been doing lately. I like it. And then I also tried to add my second wing and I hate it. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm curious how I fix my fuck ups. I use these little disposable lip ones and some makeup remover. Mine is just from the grocery store. And yeah, I just wipe it the fuck off. And it's okay to make mistakes. It will happen. And it's important that you don't beat yourself up about it and you just keep trying. Sometimes I have to do my makeup more than once and I have a meltdown, but it's fine. So I just put some concealer on here, put that over the spot where everything was taken off. I know I'm gonna basically just put everything back. Okay, I changed these to little triangles because the lines were just not working for me. Now it's time to figure out lipstick. They literally always have like pink or nude, which like, <laughs> I don't know. They always do this cute thing where they round out their cupid's bow. And I can't really do that because my cupid's bow is so defined. Like, even if I try to do it. This lipstick's really pretty, but it kind of sucks. Like, everyone says they love these. It just gets really clumpy. But I love the color, so we're gonna do it anyways. It's clumpy. It's uncomfortable. I hate it, but I like the color. I just heard a crack. I may have broken it. white hearts but i feel like the only brush i have that's precise enough to do that because i don't have like a little pointy one is my eyebrow brush so that's what we're gonna do this might turn out terrible i don't know oh my god does it even look like a heart this is terrifying Okay, all right, that's recognizable as a heart. 
don't know what's going on with this eye today. I've like stabbed myself in the eye with eyeliner, with glue, and now with mascara. This is just not a left eye type of day. <laughs> So we're pretty much done. What do we think? Does this look e-girlish? I don't know. I don't even know if I like it, <laughs> but let me know what you think. Um, It's cute. I think it's cute. It's not as like spooky as I'm used to. I don't even know if it looks like e-girl makeup. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Okay, we're done. Bye.